Here's a quick and easy tutorial on rigging a character in Blender, which you can later animate however you like. I scanned my 3D model using Polycam and deleted the texture. Now once you have your model, import it as a T-Pose. Now go to Edit, Preferences, under Add-ons, make sure Rigify is enabled. Next, in Object Mode, press Shift-A, go to Armature, Rigify MetaRig, then choose Human. Click on MetaRig, go to Viewport Display and enable in front to make the bones visible. Now if you click S, you can rescale your rig to match your model. And now in edit mode, I'm gonna select all the bones that I don't need and delete them like the facial bones and the fingers. If you're planning to have facial expressions, you can keep those, but I wanna keep my rig very simple. Once you're done, take some time to match the rig to your model, ensuring all the joints are in the correct positions. And if your model is symmetrical, you can enable the x-axis mirror option from the tools panel to save some time. After you match them, we're gonna parent them. Now in object mode, select your armature, then shift select your rig, Press Ctrl P and choose with automatic weights to parent them. And now in pose mode, you'll be able to move and play around with your model. Now you can animate it manually, but I prefer to use Mixamo for animations. To do that, I need to change the bone names so Mixamo can identify them correctly. In edit mode, click on each bone and rename it to the names you see me using. Mixamo typically uses the direction first followed by the bone name as the blender preset rig has the opposite format so i'm just renaming them direction first then the bone name i've also changed the names of the head neck and hips bone as you can see You can save your rig as an asset to use it on different models, which will save you the hassle of deleting unwanted bones and renaming them each time. Now, if your model still has textures, you'll need to delete it because Mixamo doesn't recognize textures. And now your model is ready to be exported, so you can export it as FBX and then open Mixamo to upload your character. Now you're free to choose any animation you like, there are tons of animations and movements you can choose from. Since I'm using it for architectural purposes, I want my model to walk, so I'm choosing this one. Make it walk in place, you can play with the frames per second if you want, and then you can download it. I will take it back to Blender again, just to loop it and smooth it if needed. To loop it, you should notice the frame at which the animation stops and adjust it accordingly, as you can see. I smoothed my model a bit in sculpt mode and now I just have my model walking in a loop. And there you have it. Hope this tutorial was useful. Please let me know if you have any questions.